So I've been doing a lot of shopping on Nike and I got lucky because they were kind enough to send over some items and sponsor this video. Thank you guys for that. So this video wouldn't be possible without y'all. And just as a disclaimer, they sent over three items, items I was going to buy anyways. Plus I'm going to be reviewing Nike ACG summer line. I wish they would send over those items to me, but I bought all that myself and now my wallet hates me. So let's start off with talking about the items that they sent over. This is the Air Max 90s. Obviously, this is a sneaker that released in 1990, which showcased a visible see-through air unit that first blew people's mind on the Air Max 1, released in 87. Designed by Tinker Hatfield, this is an iconic sneaker that made waves during the 90s hip-hop era and has always been a classic sneaker that has always been recommended in the streetwear scene. This is just the plain all-white colorway, simple, clean, a summer sneaker that I wore for my entire trip during Chicago. You guys can see how dirty the sneaker is right now. And yeah, they're just easy to throw on, decently comfortable. After all, they are a runner. And if you only throw on the Jordan 1s or the Air Force 1s, give the 90s a shot. The next item that Nike sent over is the Nike Tech Fleece hoodie. Excuse all the fur, you can blame my dog Ahsoka for that. So if you guys recall from my last video partnered with Nike, they sent over the Tech Fleece long sleeve and the Tech Fleece joggers. Well. I thought I needed a hoodie. Tech fleece is great because of how much warmth it provides without adding any extra bulk. And yes, I know it's summer right now. New York just hit 94. It's super humid outside. Seattle is out there tripping with triple digit heat. So for now, I'm rocking it at home, but definitely will break it out during the fall season. I did get a size medium and this is a standard fit. So don't worry about sizing up or down unless you want that look. And say it, Johnny, say it. I am five foot seven, 156 pounds with a slim muscular build. I hope that helps you out for sizing references. This one has a faded, almost olive wash to it and it's soft against the skin skin, has an extra storage in the chest pocket area, and also comes with a double zip. And you guys know how much I love double zips. This piece is very casual. I'll probably keep it with just athleisure fits or lounging. Maybe throw on some runners and that's a very cozy fit. But what's cool about tech fleece as well is it also leans towards that active wear, almost tech look. And Nike also sent over some blazers. And you guys know how much I love this sneaker. This would be my fifth one. Six one? I don't know. I lost count. That's how many blazers I got. But blazers are just great whether you skate or you just like it for lifestyle and creating cool outfits. This one is a green color. I have the maroon and the light blue one. And I think that this is the sneaker to get if you're uncomfortable wearing colors. Because at the end of the day, the whole silhouette is mostly white with just a little pop of color. And that's a good way to incorporate some colors to your outfits. And as always with the blazer mid 77s, they do have that cream sole. So I just recommend replacing the laces for cream ones. It complements the look and I think it makes the sneaker look a little bit better. You guys may disagree, but that's what I like doing. And those were the Nike items that were gifted to me. Bless, bless, bless. Thank you guys for that. So let's talk about the items that I dropped a whole lot of money on. <laughs> So let's talk about this Nike ACG Dry Fit UV Devastation Trail button up. That is a mouthful. So this was part of Nike ACG's summer collection that was tested and inspired by Hawaii's hot volcanic climate. The Dry Fit technology is moisture wicking and stretchy, making this very easy to wear for the summer. This also includes a few air vents so you stay cool and the ability to button up your sleeve to your bicep. That way it doesn't come loose and you don't get annoyed. And you can button it up two ways. There's a tab in the sleeve that hikes it all the way up or you could use the unbuttoned one at the wrist and it's going to go up towards the upper forearm area instead of all the way up your bicep. And this one I got in a size small and it is meant to be more slim fitting. And this piece is not waterproof. Not everything has to be waterproof. In fact, I find breathability is more important than waterproofing, but this thing has plenty of pockets, a carabiner in the shape of the Nike ACG logo, which is pretty cool. You can keep your keys attached to that and that's what you want to wear for the summertime tops with little extra details to it to make your fit stand out a little bit better and next up as part of their summer collection they released two shorts the cargo shorts and the trail shorts it released in two colors i got both we got black and this brownish color let's start off with the trail shorts these do have a dwr coating which makes it water repellent there's a built-in adjustable belt and a loop to hold your keys the pockets are also zippered and these are just perfect for hiking they're very lightweight as well which is why i do prefer these more and i am wearing a size small for all the shorts that i got now the cargo shorts are very similar obviously there's pockets because they are cargos and these shorts do feel more premium they do cost more but it's not very noticeable at first and just like the last shorts they are water repellents which let's face it uh, if you're wearing shorts in the rain your legs are going to get wet anyways it's not a feature i look for with shorts but it is nice if you do spill a drink on it it's just gonna fall right off these are pretty dope shorts i highly recommend any of these shorts to pick up for the summertime just be aware that the cargo shorts are noticeably heavier than the trail shorts which is why i prefer those to wear all right now check out this colorful shoe this is the nike acg mountain fly lows w number four on sneakers in the last four years uh this is a very niche sneaker which is probably why i want 
Thank you. So I have the regular ACG Mountain Flies that I won last year. Those are more of a mid cuts. These are the low cuts with a bright and neon colorway. And what kind of sucks about these ones is they lost the Gore-Tex. Makes me cry a little. But for me, that's not a big deal because lows are for the summer and then the regular ones are for the winter and whenever it precipitates. But I did notice that these are kind of splash proof. They don't really advertise that on Nike, um, but they can handle some water. And I'm definitely gonna be hiking a lot this summer. I did go to Denver a few weeks ago and I did not bring these. Um, but I'm excited to, to wear these. Now let's talk about sandals. If you guys know me, I like pushing myself out of my comfort zone. That's why I got these. Now I haven't worn sandals since uh, recess when I'd cross people at basketball and whoop people on tetherball. Those were good times. But yeah, tech wear and sandals are quite well associated with each other. This one in particular has an air unit in the heel making it quite comfortable. There's padded straps and perforations along those straps for more ventilation. It is a sandal after all, there's already enough ventilation, but the extra perforation is quite nice. And yeah, I'm excited to try these out in some street fits, some tech fits. Let me know what you guys think of these. And yeah, I hope this video helps you guys if you were looking to pick up anything from the Nike ACG Summer Collection or just the classic pieces from Nike. Those are always a go-to and I love those pieces. Let me know what your guys' favorite piece was in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at FlyWithJohnnyTie. And until then, stay fly, check out Nike. Thank you Nike for sponsoring this video. Deuces.